We are delaying the start of our scheduled program to bring you this bulletin. Washington. The steel strike has been settled. The CIO Steelworkers Union has signed a contract for an 18 and a half cent an hour wage increase with the United States Steel Corporation. The agreement becomes effective Monday morning. Negotiations with the rest of the steel industry will be resumed tomorrow. This bulletin has come to you from CBS News. We now resume our scheduled program. Hey, you, Danny Kay. Oh, well, it's the average radio listener. Yes, yeah, chum. Could I have a few words with you? I'm all ears. I know, but could I have a few words with you? <laughs> well, I suppose you're going to say something nasty about last week's radio program, huh? No, Kay. This week, I'd like to say something nice for a change. You would? I'd like to, but I can't. <laughs> Listen, my friend, what I have to say to you can be written on a pinhead, and if you'll bend down, I'll be glad to write it. <laughs> okay, who's your guest star tonight, and how did you talk him into it? Oh, this week it's Carmen Miranda. Ah, Carmen Miranda. She's that South American gal who wears those hats made out of oranges, bananas, and apples. Yeah, yeah, I, I like those hats. They're so smart, so chic, so nourishing. <laughs> Does she always wear those hats? Mm, yeah, yeah, except when she's in Boston. Why not in Boston? That's where they ban strange fruit. <laughs> well, Sam, you're gonna be in pretty fast company with that Miranda chick. Talking Brazilian? Mm, I don't know. You know, I can rattle off that stuff as fast as she can. What's that, Kay? Well, I'm talking in her native idiom. You sound more like her native idiot. Good luck, Jump. Good luck, pal. Pass the ribbon or the blue ribbon bee. Pass the ribbon or the blue ribbon bee. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dick Joy introducing the Danny Kay Show, presented by Pabst Blue Ribbon, with Butterfly McQueen, Dave Terry and his orchestra, and our special guest tonight, that Brazilian bombshell, Carmen Miranda. And here's the star of our show... Danny Kay! <laughs> Something I'm worried about Carmen Miranda coming on our show tonight. You are, Danny? Yeah, yeah, I'm worried about that South American lingo of hers. If that interpreter I hired doesn't show up, I'm in an awful lot of trouble. An interpreter? Well, Danny, can't you speak any South American at all? Oh, little. Casual stuff, like, uh, I'll be the Zane. <laughs> Gesundheit. <laughs> Cherchez la femme. <laughs> little expressions I learned from my South American uncle. Your uncle in South America? Oh, yes, yes, yes. He lived to become president. But not long. <laughs> he was one of South America's wealthiest, uh, uh, uh cucarachas. <laughs> uh, his daughter inherited his money, and uh, she was his Buenos Aires. <laughs> she still lives down there in a big, beautiful hasta mañana. <laughs> Sits out on her siesta all day. <laughs> Dressed in a spangled muchacha, <laughs> eating those delicious haciendas. <laughs> oh, she's one of the most popular Buenos Noches in town. Why, I can see somebody's gonna need an interpreter around here. Pardon me. You're Danny Kay? Yes, no, make up your mind, huh? <laughs> well, offhand, and this is strictly a snap judgment, I, I say I am Danny Kay. Who are you? I am Boris Marshallov, interpreter fourth class. Oh, oh, the interpreter. Oh, yes. Do you understand uh, Portuguese, Mr. Marshallov? Like a native of Portland. <laughs> Main or Hoffa? Now, somebody says something in Portuguese. <laughs> like that, I'm interpreting into Russian. Into Russian? 
I don't understand Russian. This I have foreseen. Uh -huh. So I have brought an interpreter. I see. Come in, Mr. Martinini. <laughs> Mr. Cage, this is my associate, Mr. Martinini. How do you do? Grazie. In your case, large type of pleasure to meet you. You understand Portuguese? Portuguese? No, that's Greek to me. <laughs> I understand Russian, and I speak very good Italian. Italian? What good is that? Now, Mr. K, you do not understand. The plan is working as follows. To which somebody says something in Portuguese, I am listening, this I am interpreting into Russian to my associate, Mr. Martinini. Precisamente. Mr. Martinini is listening in Russian and quick as a flush is interpreting into Italian. Si, si. That's a very good plan, Mr. Marshal <laughs> my comrade, except for one minor detail, to wit, I'm a non tan Italian. <laughs> in your case, this I have foreseen. So I brought interpreter. Come in, Mademoiselle Lafarge. What's going on here? <laughs> Signor K, I am very happy for you to meet Mademoiselle Louise Lafarge. How do you do? Ah, it is a pleasure, Monsieur K. And this is uh, Mr. Marshallov, Mademoiselle Lafarge. Oh, she's <laughs> pretty <Priyaka? laughs> You don't hide. <laughs> so you see, Mr. K, it is now very simple. I'm listening in Portuguese and translating into Russian. That's right. And I listen in Russian, and she come out Italian. Oui, Monsieur K. And I listen Italian, voila, French. Isn't that a magnificent plan, Mr. K? Sounds like a five-year plan, Mr. Marshall. <laughs> Why don't you just interpret in English for me in the first place? Mr. K, please, we have union. That's right, a very strong union. Oui, vive la Federation! Viva la Federation! La Federation! Quiet, quiet, just quiet, please. Oh, come on, thank, thank you. Thank, quiet, come on. This will get me nowhere because I don't understand French. Ah, monsieur, but do not worry. This I have foreseen. Uh, come in, Monsieur Cropopolis. Cropopolis? <laughs> Who needs him? Monsieur K., uh, this is my associate, Spiros of Cropopolis. How do you do? Mr. K., excuse me, very happy to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cropopolis, this is Mr. Martinini. Yes, sir, Emilio. You want to say anything? This is Mr. Marshall of Mr. Cropopolis. Oh, I can drive. Carefully. You want to Now, let me see what we have here. Miss Miranda will talk in Portuguese. Mr. Marshalov is listening in Portuguese and translating it should come out Russian. Then, Mr. Martinini, he's a listening in Russian and with a translator so she comes out Italian. <laughs> then, uh, Miss Lafarge listens in Italian and voila, French. Then, uh, Mr. Kropopoulos, is here for to listen in French and he will give translation what it should be Greek. Da, da. Si, si. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Ten, ten. <laughs> I know, it's the union. <laughs> union. We have a very strong union. Yes. Yes. Lunghissima vita la federazione! That's all very nice, fellas, except that I don't understand Greek. Mr. K, this is something I have for tea. Oh, no. You know, a few more of these interpreters will have to hunt for a site in Connecticut. <laughs> Come in, Mr. Huang. Mr. Huang, I want you to meet Mr. K, Mr. K, Mr. Sing Huang. How do you do? Hoi ho, bo ha. Well, now you're talking my language. So may some Oh, excuse me, I want you to meet these people. You know Mr. Klapopoulos? Hoi yes. ho. You got him, uh, don't got him. Miss Lafarge, Mr. Wong. Come on, hi. This is Mr. Martinini, Mr. Wong. Un gran boy. And Mr. Marshall, love Mr. Wong. Hoi ho. Well, now be the Zane. <laughs> well, now we've got the whole lineup, from Portuguese to Russian, to Italian, to French, to Greek, to Chinese, to Tinker, to Everest, to Chan. <laughs> this is going to be a cinch. It all depends on you, Mr. Marshall. You're the one who has to understand Miss Miranda in the first place, you know. Oh, I will understand. Oh, well, don't be so sure. She talks a blue streak. If you please, comrades, a red streak. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. A red streak. 
But she's hard to understand, and she puts the accent on the wrong syllable, not only when she talks, but when she sings a tropical song. <laughs> On the island from which we come, we have a national characteristic which is very strong. We put the accent upon the wrong syllable and we sing a tropical song. Upon the island from which we come, the point of the rest beside the coconut and it's wrong. Is that we put the accent upon the wrong syllable and we sing a tropical song. We could show the natural wonders of the scenery. Do you? We could show the native birds and perhaps give two or three. Do you? And describe the climate and also tell the elevation. Do you? We could very hastily introduce the population to you. But we prefer to acquaint you with the following interesting uh, fact. Upon the island from which we come, we have a national characteristic which is very strong. And if you, you should remain here, you will discover one peculiar thing before very long. That you have put the accent upon the wrong syllable and you sing like this. On any topic whatsoever, for instance, I'm wanting to say hello in Calypso fashion to my guest, Armis Carmen Miranda, this week in fashion tropical into a Calypso greeting like Chiquita Bananas. I would spring like this. Welcome to Carmen Miranda, for her I care. With bananas and oranges growing tall in her head. She's the only singer of whom it is said. She has Adler elevate her head. When a song she sings, then I am glad to know. She is Carmen, who's Miranda, not Lombardo. She sings the hardest style from the equator. So you must never put Miranda in the refrigerator. When you put the accent upon the wrong syllable and you sing a tropical song, and so we say welcome to you. So you see, it's going to be hard to understand, Miss Miranda, if she puts the accent on the wrong syllable. Oh, I don't know, Danny. Well, what do you mean, Dick? Well, maybe in Calypso you put the accent on the wrong syllable, but when you speak of beer, the accent is on Pat's Blue Ribbon. Ribbon? Why, of course. You order it with confidence and serve it with pride. That boy, Dick, you tell him. You bet I will. Friends, and especially all you thousands of loyal listeners of KCMJ, the glorious, wonderful, exciting news station at Palm Springs, California, which just joined the Columbia Network this week. Well, I happen to have a little something to do with that, friends, so uh, I'd just like to say that my partner and I built the station. And tonight, out there under those desert stars, he'll be celebrating with a real California barbecue. You know, plenty of that spicy, fragrant barbecued beef and plenty of blended, splendid Paps Blue Ribbon. Why, a barbecue wouldn't be a barbecue without those big foamy glasses of sparkling Paps Blue Ribbon. Yes, sir, there's something about Paps Blue Ribbon which just naturally adds to the good taste of your favorite food. And, of course, you know what that is. It's the magnificent flavor which comes from blending never less than 33 fine brews into one truly great beer. Remember, Palm Springs or Palm Beach, California or Connecticut... Wherever you go, there's no finer beer than blended, splendid Paps Blue Ribbon. Ah, spoken like a true blue Paps Blue Ribbon man, Dick. And it's nice to welcome station KCMJ to the network. Now, how about a little song of welcome? Well, I have just the song, Danny. Fun spring it, kids. Thirty-three fine brews blended into one great beer. Okay, Union, uh, let's get ready back there. Miss Miranda's on the way up. Everybody here? Now, uh, let's get together now, fellas. All right? Count off. Adin, do it. Trois. Tres, tres, tong. Good. <laughs> That's good. Everybody's in now, on your toes. Miss Miranda will probably burst in here with a long speech of Portuguese, and as soon as she does, 
You, Mr. Marshall. Oh, Jigger, w- Danny, here she comes. Why, it's Carmen Miranda. <laughs> Maybe Mrs. Nutbaum. <laughs> Wait a minute. What was that? Wait a minute. What did you say? What I will interpret. Uh-huh. Anna Gavarit was with Mrs. Nussbaum. Ah, that means in plain Italian, si può dire lei aspetta forse per la signora Nussbaum? Ah, voilà. Est-ce que vous attendez peut-être à Madame Nussbaum? In simple Greek, this is to mean yati. Anna Merete in Kirian Nussbaumus? Translated into language of my honorable ancestors, Okai, Osanga Chikoi, Acha, Mickey, Not Paul. Oh, I thought that's what he said. I thought that's what he said. Isn't that wonderful? Is that Portuguese? Yes, yes. yes. How do you I like that? that? I've been speaking it all my life and didn't know. No, 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 no. Come on, what's new? Not that you know of, Ken. Not that you know of, Danny. No? I was going to. A única novidade é que eu estou muito contente de estar aqui com você, porque acho que você é uh, uma maravilha, uma verdadeira maravilha, dá pra Well, I'm stuck again. Go ahead, Junior. This time, Portuguese, I have never heard. Fine interpreter. Danny, you don't need an interpreter for me. What I said was, I have read a brand new joke for your program. Oh, a new joke, Carmen? Yeah. Oh, we can certainly use it. My two writers can't think of one. Oh, but your writers give me this joke they want me to tell you tonight. A joke they yeah. want you to tell? Huh? Yeah. May I ask what it is I'm afraid? <laughs> well, Danny, the joke is like this. Uh-huh. Imagina você que havia um pai que tinha quatro filhas. Mm-hmm. Três filhas eram casadas, a última filha tinha que se casar com Irish men. Oh, really? No, O'Reilly. <laughs> Oh, no, no, Miss Miranda. I will interpret. You'll interpret, huh? I don't need an interpreter for that. I know that joke, and I won't use Miss it. Miss Miranda has said, My sister wish for Zamus, the Irishman, O'Reilly. Yes, O'Reilly. Ah. La mia simpaticissima sorella, innamorata pazza, si è sposata con un Irishman, O'Reilly, no O'Reilly. Aha. Uh-huh. Elle a dit que ma soeur est mariée à un Irishman. O'Reilly, no O'Reilly. Il y a des films, et pendant ce que, et même, il en va. O'Reilly, O'Reilly, O'Reilly. O'Chang, O'Hoyo, Sakacho, Atai, O'Reilly, Chang, O'Reilly. Carmen, don't tell that joke. Tell me you don't mean it. Do you, Carmen, please? Of course not, Danny. My sister was not married to Irish man. She's already married to a South American. Oh, really? No, Jose. No. <laughs> oh, no, not you too, Carmen. Do me a favor. Will you sing something for me? Yes, Danny, yes. Carmen. Yes, Carmen. <laughs> Bambu bambu bambu, e olha o bambu que bambu bambu lele. E olha o bambu que bambu bambu lala. Eu quero ver se você traz esse bambu lele bambu lala. Bambu, olha o bambu que bambu bambu bambu. E olha o bambu que bambu bambu lele. E olha o bambu que bambu bambu lala. Eu quero ver se você traz esse bambu lele bambu lala. Fui um banquete na casa do Zé Pequeno, na mesa tava no sereno para todo mundo café. Tinha de toda a qualidade de Itália, tinha mais homem que mulher, mas só não tinha o que comer. Tanta banquete de suco de origem e de mulher que tinha marido e não passou a perto não. Pois a danada para não morrer de fome, cada qual comeu seu homem não tiver de então bambu. E olha o bambu de bambu, bambu, bambu. E olha o bambu de bambu, bambu, lele. E olha o bambu de bambu, bambu, lalá. Eu quero ver de você, bambu, lele, bambu, lalá, bambu. E olha o bambu de bambu, bambu, bambu. E olha o bambu de bambu, 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 lele. E olha o bambu de bambu, bambu, lalá. Eu quero ver de você, bambu, bambu, lele, bambu, lalá. Eu vi um papo e papo, nem papo dela E outro papo e papo, sabe de uma papo de bubá E papo e papo, 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 manela Não papo de papo e papo, papo lá no mapa Quando eu disse papo de papo e papo, meu papo de fim de maio Porque o papo era papão E eu vi que eu vi como um papo, não me estava com o fim do avai Que se deva papagão E que se que o bolo capeta de uma capa Que já teve na garupa do capeta capataz Pra que ninguém possa ver o papo de papo, 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 Eu não tive mais a pedir o papo, queria papo, 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 papo E é por isso que eu já logo papo, quando vem tipo de papo, papo, papo E olha o bom de bambu, 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 e olha o bom de bambu, bambu, lelê E olha o bom de bambu, lalá, e quero ver se você vê o bambu, bambu, lalá, oi E olha o bom de bambu, 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 e olha o bom de bambu, lalá, oi E olha o bom de bambu, lalá, que a gente se vê o bambu, lalá, bambu I'm 
fumble. Don't the Brazil, nothing. <laughs> Oh, that was really a wonderful number, Carmen. That was sensational. That was really wonderful. And you know what? You look so wonderful. <laughs> thank you, Danny. Thank you. Oh, that hat is really a creation, too, Carmen. Where did you get that hat? Hattie Carnegie's, or Rose Sapphire, John Frederick? At the A&P. <laughs> well, I don't care. You look beautiful. Oh, Danny. I mean it. If it isn't true, I'll eat your hat. <laughs> oh, thank you, Danny. You look very handsome, too. Come on, give me a kiss. <laughs> oh, I couldn't do that, Carmen. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, if no, I did no. that, they'd take away my Sinatra button. Ah, oh, Dad, come on. Forget about Sinatra. You are not the Bobby Slack. <laughs> no, Bobby Slack? <laughs> huh? Come on, give me a kiss. If you don't kiss me, I'll kiss you right no, away. No, Carmen, I'll I just ain't mm -hmm. no... Hot tamale. I interpret hot borscht, hot ravioli, hot crispy, hot strawberry pie, egg for young. I like that. Now, come and I'll kiss you. That's right, Danny. Turn about it's foul play. Go ahead. Turn about it's foul play. No, it says you turn about is foul play, not it's foul play. You make me a villain. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, okay. Here goes. Um, you're such a doll face. There. How was that? Well. I interpret. Hui. 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 Egg boy. Look, why don't you and your union take the first tugboat home? A kid doesn't need an explanation. I don't know about that, Danny. Depends on whom you're caught kissing. Oh, very funny, Dick. But I'm talking about these interpreters. They're translating everything I say. Well, there's one thing that doesn't need translating. Everybody knows that no matter where you go, there's no finer beer than Pabst Blue Ribbon. I interpret. Such is night and yet lucho piva can pop blue ribbon. Right, for never less than 33 fine brews blend their individual goodness to create the magnificent flavor of Pabst Blue Ribbon. Perché mai meno che 33 eccellente birre si mescolano per creare il magnifico sapore della birra Pabst Blue Ribbon. Right, and that's why, that's why you can always order it with confidence, serve it with pride. Uh -huh, oui, tout le monde dit que la bière la plus superlative est Pabst Blue Ribbon. Right, that's why at hotels, at restaurants, at taverns, at home. So many millions say, give me Pabst Blue Ribbon. Yes, the city staff. He opus ipote. He tapped it, found it, beat it, pop blue ribbon. Right. Yes, you just can't top the taste of blended, splendid pop blue ribbon. Oh, Shango, I saw I say, oh, so I take all eight for young. Oh, a traitor. 33 fine blues blended into one great beer. Well, Butterfly McQueen, come in, Miss McQueen, come in. I was the president of the Dandy K Fan Club. Oh, tolerant. <laughs> well, Miss McQueen, I'd like you to meet Carmen Miranda. Miss Miranda, Miss McQueen. Oh, I'm happy to know you, Miss Miranda. <laughs> what, what was that? It's my native language. All the people in my country speak it. My goodness, how do they understand each other? <laughs> No, you don't understand, Miss McQueen. Miss Miranda's from Brazil. Oh, Brazil? Yes, my whole family was in Brazil. One of my brothers, Gaucho. Oh, I like him. And Chico and Hoppo, too. <laughs> now, Miss McQueen is trying to get members of my cans. Uh, <laughs> 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 ah. But she doesn't seem to have any luck. What's the trouble, Miss McQueen? Well, frankly, Miss Miranda. The enormity of the assignment imposed upon his chief executive of this organization comprising his admirers accentuates the theory to the effect that such quantitative energies are not commensurate with his festian facility. Miss McQueen, stop talking like a child. <laughs> what uh, did you say, Miss McQueen? Danny, I interpret it. You interpret it? <laughs> no, no, not you, too. Miss McQueen says to get funds for you, she no can do. Mr. K, maybe we can ask Miss Miranda to get us some plans in South America. Have you ever been south of the border, Miss McQueen? Oh, yes, I was born in Florida. 
Oh. No, Miss Miranda means South America, the land of the samba beat. Oh, I love the samba, especially when I'm dancing. <laughs> Everybody in South America sambas, you know, our music is so full of rhythm, so lively, and I wish everybody could understand them. Well, I'll tell you what we do, Carmen. You sing some of your songs, and I'll interpret them for you. Huh? <laughs> Carmen, dear, it was just yes, wonderful yes. working with you. Oh, Danny, so wonderful work with you, too. I love to do it. You do? <laughs> yeah, I, love I, I like you, too, honey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to do it, Oh, <laughs> you're so wonderful. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Danny. And now I must rush back to the Rock Theater for my next show. Well, I've got to rush over to the Paramount Theater for my next show, too. It is cold out, button up tight here, so you don't catch cold. Don't you worry, Danny, don't you worry. I just bought a brand new pool coat. Oh, really? <laughs> no, opossum. <laughs> Miss Miranda. I interpret. Now, wait a minute. I don't want any interpretation of that joke. Yeah, talker, talk, will feel annoyed, and make a boy if I talk to The makers of Pat's Blue Ribbon wish to remind you that no matter how severe may be the government restrictions on grain, however much Pat must curtail its output to protect quality, Every bottle of Pabst Blue Ribbon you buy will continue to live up to its name. There will be no cutting corners, no lowering of standards of flavor and goodness, no compromise with quality. Our guests next week will be Jack Pearl and Miss Georgia Gibbs. This program was brought to you by the Pabst Brewing Company of Milwaukee, Wisconsin and Peoria, Illinois. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>